Hello traders, welcome to a new Sierra chart tutorial video. So um, this week we're going to go over a very uh, easy and simple uh, study that we can apply into here. Well, it's a combination of three studies that is going to basically give us highlights on certain candles above a certain volume of um, traded volume threshold. So for this, I'm just going to start with a basic plain chart. As you can see, this is the E-mini S&P 500. This is the five minute chart. So each candle is five minutes. And right now I only have three studies on the chart or four studies, which is the basic ones that I apply to all my intraday charts. We have the countdown timer here just going backwards for the next candle market is closed right now but it's still always running current price line which would be the line here and all this i go over all this stuff in my uh my sierra chart tutorials earlier in my playlist so you can go back to those to see how to apply all these basic things and then these lines is basically this dash lines that i have here where basically it's the split of the regular and the extended trading hour sessions so this is 6 p.m eastern standard time when the new day starts during the asian european session extended hours and then here is 9 30 a.m eastern where there is the regular stock market hours and obviously this is where most of the traded volume happens on the futures market as we're going to see very soon so first thing we're going to do is go analysis studies and we're going to apply a basic volume indicator so we i'm just going to move it all the way down click apply and we have our volume indicator there i'm going to go into settings and just customize a few things into subgraphs i like to change i like to use dark green and red for this and i like to make it a little thicker and i also take off this thing so i don't get all this numbers and descriptions on the title here just to keep things very clean so okay okay so now we have a five minute e mini chart with the volume indicator this is region one and this is region two and if we move back you can see what i was telling you you have really tiny volumes during extended hours and then much higher volumes during regular trading hours so since I trade both uh, both sessions, what I do here, if you try to move anything or do anything to the scale here, you cannot move it. So what I like to do is I right click on it. I make sure it's on interactive scale range. And then on the scale range, I set it to automatic. Now that unlocks it. So now I can just squish it and expand it. If this was in move mode, if I click it, all I can do is move it up and down. But if I'm on range mode, then I can change it. So what I do is if I'm trading, you know, regular trading hours, then I'll just adjust this and I'll have my volumes there. I can make them bigger if I want. But then when I'm trading extended hours, like over here, my volumes look tiny because this is proportional both sessions so what i have to do is i just come here to my scale and then i just push this out and i just make my volumes larger for extended hours so that i can see them well and as the session develops you know once you like get out and you're not displaying regular hour candles then you can just go down and squish them back and just adjust it you know depending what the volatility and the volume and the time of day is and what instrument you're using you're just gonna have to play around with this scale but like i said i like to have it on the range automatic 
just so that I can move it up and down as I need. Okay, so the next indicator we're gonna do, we go to studies and is gonna be called color bar based on above below study. So this one, if we apply it, you can see it changes our whole candles here. We're gonna go into settings and then here, I like to use the dark blue color and the red, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about the second color. If we go into, oh, let me take off all the display uh, data up here. And if we go to settings and inputs, so now input data, we're gonna select volume. Study reference, we're gonna select volume and volume for now. This is gonna change in a little bit. And then on mode, color above below, we're just gonna select color above because we're only gonna be interested in selecting or coloring candles above a certain volume threshold. If you want to color them above or below two different numbers, you can just apply this twice and then have one set for you know one color above a certain number and then another color below etc so i just click apply so that's pretty much the settings we need here we click ok and you can see the chart now just went back to normal so now the last piece that we need under studies is we're going to go to line we're going to add it click apply and I see we're getting a line here, but now this by default is going to apply it to the third chart region. So this is one, two, three. So we're going to move the line up here and then that line, we're going to use it to determine what the volume threshold is going to be. So if we go into the line settings, chart region, we're going to put two, apply. And now we get the line up here. Uh, I like to make it dark gray. So I'm just going to make the line dark gray. And then over here under short name, uh, we can just put a, let's put a volume line, vol line, apply. And then color bar based and volume. I don't really need to put any custom names on this because there's very self-explanatory. But I always like to try to on some things put a customized short name, especially if you're putting a lot of the same studies so you don't confuse them. So now value, we're just gonna set whatever value we want, depending, like I said, what instrument, what session, what time of day it is you're gonna adjust it to what gives you the best signals. Let's say 20,000. So I'm gonna set it at a 20,000 volume threshold. So if I press okay, you can see that now this volume line is at the 20,000 volume mark. And you can see some volume lines are above it, some are below. So what this study is gonna do now it's whatever candles go above this line are gonna be colored. So to do that, we just go back to the settings for color based on above below study and study to reference. Now we're not gonna reference volume, we're gonna reference the volume line. And if I click apply, okay, okay. Now you can see it. Now you have dark blue candles for every candle that goes above 20,000 in volume. Another little trick that I like to do, go to studies, volume, under subgraphs, I like to put the value label and I like to put it above, right, apply, and now I get a little label here next to the last bar that we are making just so I can see live how many contracts are being executed on this candle that is forming. Okay, and then 
you know, if you want to change the threshold of this, all you have to do is go to studies, volume line or line study settings, and then you're just going to change the number here. So like I said, if we're going to be trading extended trading hours, let's say that you like to trade early, like usually I like to trade between like 7 and 10 p.m. Eastern time. As you can see, obviously, you know, during regular trading hours, there's always a big influx of volume at the open and the close. But then we get some candles here during the day, which, you know, if we apply it, if we want to analyze volumes, this is going to be very useful because as we know, high volumes signify either a climatic, you know, push and then a reversal or is going to signal just a change in trend. Like, for example, you know, like in this case here, market was doing a swing low. We left a pin bar and then the next bar was a big volume influx candle just kicking up over here. And then that started, you know, a whole push up for the last hour, etc. You know, that's going to be personal to you, how you want to integrate this into your strategy. But basically, the purpose of this indicator is just to show you that. And so, like I said, if we want to do the early extended hour sessions, all you have to do is I'm going to adjust my scale. I'm going to push this down and then I adjust my scale and then let's say, I don't know, let's put a 2000 threshold. So you go to go to studies, line, settings, 2000, apply. And now you have it there. So if you go out, obviously, you know, if you go back to a regular trading hours, like literally every candle is blue now because 2000 is very low volumes on a five minute chart for regular hours. But now for extended hours, you can see how here we had a nice trend here. And then we had, you know, certain instances of high volume candles, basically all the candles that went above the 2000 threshold. You have another breakaway candle here over here. You can see as well, for example, we push down and while well, I don't have the volume profile here, but I'm pretty sure there's a big high volume node edge down here because you can see how this level has been hit so much high volumes and it is not breaking and holding. And then we had, you know, breakout. So this means there was a lot of, of selling absorption at this level and then that reversed etc you know this each of you can sort of determine how you want to use this in your strategy in my trading courses i share with you all my strategies for swing trading day trading etc so definitely you know you can go to my website and check those out if you are interested and um yeah that's pretty much it for the video Thank you for watching. Hope this has been useful. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And um, don't forget to subscribe, hit thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.